Esto no es un hospital, es una jaula. Es importante descubrir cuál es vuestro poder para poder curaros. It's very exciting that we're finally going to to see this this film. Um, you know, the pan, the fans have been uh, very patient and understanding about the waiting. But I was wondering, do you think um, you know the delays and the the ongoing circumstances will will affect the audience's experience? You know, watching the film in in any way. No, I, I don't think so. It's like uh, the movie is the same movie it was then, and I still don't think there's been another movie that's kind of done what we did in this. So I feel like we're still the only game in town in terms of a horror, comic book, John Hughes, teen angst movie, you know? Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I think, uh, I also think it's been a long time since there's been a movie for young adults and teenagers that really, they're the main characters and, uh, and all that, even in these Marvel movies, everybody is an adult for the most part, other than Spidey, you know? So it's nice to see kids in a movie again, dealing with uh, hopefully real problems to some degree. Um, well, you have a lot, of, a lot of experience, you know, in, in telling stories about teenagers. But this one's, this one's a, a bit different because you, uh, you know, it's, it's also a horror story. I'd like to, mm -hmm. to know how did you, uh, you know, mix those elements? How did you use the, hor the horror elements to tell a coming of age story? Well, it's it's uh it's not like we sat there and uh and had a day where we were like, I've got a brilliant idea. I'm gonna make a comic book horror movie. You know, uh, it was very much organic from focusing on those comics, and those comics had so much of those elements in them, especially uh, the Demon Bear storyline, which is really what we wanted to exploit and dramatize. Uh, that just sort of told us it had to be a horror movie to really be a correct adaptation of it. So everything just sort of went with that. But at the same time, too, we wanted to fit in all the other elements that we love from X-Men and from that series in particular, which had uh, deep and interesting friendships between the characters who all suffered from trauma of some sort. Uh, we really wanted to deal with all that stuff in a grounded and real way and with a lot more focus than a typical comic book movie would give it. Uh, this has all those other elements like battles and cool visual effects and a giant bear and you know dragon and all that stuff but uh so much of it is more kind of the quiet intimate moments with the characters that i think makes it different from these other movies um about that you you have uh, confirmed this uh, there's a kiss in the film you know involving rain's character oh, i'd like yeah. to yeah yes i'd like to know more about that you know can you talk about rain's sexuality and sure. how are you gonna uh deal with it in the film we're gonna see it we're gonna you know, uh, the, the movie's going to explore it, really explore it, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, it's, you know, this again was an organic leap from what the comic was, which was, you know, in the comic, Rain and Danny have a telepathic link. So we knew that they were going to be the ones who had a deep relationship in the movie. But as we wrote this script, it just seemed like that's what it was going to be. Uh, once again, we really didn't sit there saying, we're going to put a gay romance in this movie. It really did just happen organically as we wrote it. And I've only really thought about that it was really special or unique after the fact, uh, well, which, which is, which is just the way these things go sometimes. Uh, but yeah, it has a, it has a love story that is between two girls. Again, this is a, a teen love story. So it's like, you know, it's a gentle love story. It's, uh, more about two people connecting for the first time in their lives. Uh, It's not a, a sexual relationship or anything like that. It's more of a gentle high school romance type of relationship, uh, uh, which suited very much the tone of the movie and the ages of the characters. But uh, yeah, you know, the Blue Hunt's uh, her audition tape with Maisie was the kiss. It's like sort of that scene in the movie was what I had them audition with. Uh, and that's how we found Blue Hunt is when she auditioned with Maisie. It was like we knew that the chemistry was going to work and that their relationship would be uh, special, we hoped. And yeah, they really great. are they, they, and you know the girls in it really are sort of the driving forces of the narrative. Blue is the star. Maisie, mm -hmm. I would say, is is you know her best friend and love interest in it. And Anya is sometimes their uh, their adversary, but also their friend. And they sort of drive a lot of the drama of the movie. And the guys have a lot of their own stuff, but the girls are very much front and center. Este lugar encuentra tu peor miedo y te enfrenta a él. Hasta que te mata.